Hello and welcome to Theme Park Academy. I am tour guide Barbie and today's lesson is Halloween Horror Nights or rather Horror Days 2020. What is even happening? We are here for the trial run for annual pass holder preview. Come check it out. It's really crazy. showed you the tribute store before and we knew that they were going to be adding rooms and what they added was a Beetlejuice room which is fantastic. And a room of Halloween delightful treats they all look absolutely spectacular although going through the house they distance you throughout it so make sure you allow for some time especially if you want to go into the bakery room however if you want to bypass the room with the food and just go straight from the second room the icon room to the beetlejuice room they will let you do that so keep that in mind i do recommend the treats though they look delicious is Louie's. Guess what? Pizza fries! They are back and they are available all day, every day here at Louie's or at the Fantastic Four Cafe over in Islands of Adventure. Woohoo! Just beware, especially if you're here on a weekday. They're made to order so it can take a little bit of time. So they're not super immediate like the pizza is here. Just FYI. Still delicious. Just as good as last year, for sure. One more thing I want to mention about the Tribute Store is throughout the rest of the season, they have now had Halloween Horror Nights artists come in to do workshops and to do autographs for people. And they're at the Tribute Store. The next one is Tuesday the 22nd from one to four. Wait, is it after the 22nd right now? No, it's not. This Tuesday. This Tuesday is happening. I know the date. Pumpkin, of course. They're also having the Scarecrow stock here this year, similar to when you find the trees or the minion search they've done before. You can get these maps in the merchandise locations. Then when you find when you go to the right spot, you get a stamp. All the locations are on the map for you. And then at the end, you get a treat bag. Woohoo! Content may vary. drink specials this year. They've turned the La Bamba into the Skeleton Bar. I've heard it's really, really cool inside, so I'm excited to go look at it. experience 
you walk in and they have some food selections, including the s'mores fries, which were also a big hit last year. And then you continue on and there's just a, it's just a walkthrough, kind of like a haunted house, but with a bunch of skeletons and no characters. And then there's a bar with some of the famous Horror Nights drinks. I got the Mango Inferno, which has quite a kick to it, I must say. It's actually pretty spicy, so be warned. There's also one called the Circus Peanut. Blah! No, thank you. And then there's Dante's Inferno, which he said has a chupacabra vibe. I don't know what that means, but this is spicy. Good though, spicy. So the biggest news is that there are actually two Horror Nights houses this year. We have the Bride of Frankenstein and Return of the Tooth Fairy. Uh, wow, I got to go through the Bride of Frankenstein. It is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Today, however, was pass holder preview. We were given a one hour window to do both houses. And there was a big 20 minute hold up when I was in that line. So I actually didn't get to do the second house, but the way that they're keeping you safe in the houses is fantastic. There's a lot of plexiglass they're using in a very smart way. The majority of the characters are wearing masks because it's Horror Nights anyways, and a lot of people are already in masks regardless. So as long as the guests are keeping their masks on, totally safe. I loved it. I can't wait to come back. After today, it's supposed to be going to a virtual queue, which you sign up for on the Universal Studios Florida app. So make sure you download it if you're coming. Uh, again, kind of weird. Kind of weird to do a house in the daytime, but still worth it. I still absolutely love the experience and got very choked up, as you'll see. It is warm. And this whole queue is out in the sun, so beware. But they do have drink carts available at least. So that was a nice provision. Definitely be prepared though, wear a hat, bring an umbrella, get ready to stand in some sunlight. It's brutal. We're in the same spot. Totally stood still for at least 15 minutes, probably more like 20. And now we're finally moving again. So, no idea what it was, if there was a situation with someone, or maybe someone had like a VIP, like celebrity tour, I don't know. But whatever the reason, we're going now. I should be inside, I'm guessing, in the next five minutes or so. Can't wait. Check this out. Check this out. To know which groups are together, they give you a glow stick that you then hand back in at the end. And so this way, as you move through the house, they know who can be standing near each other and who can't. Very interesting. Let's see how effective it is. I just finished Bride of Frankenstein. I wanted to cry when it was over. It was, it was so good. It was so fun. And I didn't think we'd get to do this this year, so I'm choked up. It was cool. It's a silly thing to get choked up over, but I am. It was, it was really great. Uh, they have plexiglass that they use for some of the characters, so they're not near you. And of course, a lot of the characters have masks anyways, because it's Horror Nights. So the, what they've done, honestly, as long as all the guests are wearing their masks, is very safe and I feel fine doing it. So just keep in mind the time for the social distancing for the lines can be kind of long. I had an hour slot to do both houses according to my guest pass for today. And I, I didn't make the second one in time, but Brian Frankenstein was the one I was much more interested in anyways. So just be aware it takes a little bit longer than normal. And I don't know if they're doing express passes for four nights or not yet. This is a whole experiment this weekend, so we'll probably be finding out a lot of things in the weeks coming up. But for now, I'm just so excited I got to do this.
One more thing to mention, over next door at Islands of Adventure on the weekends, they're taking a play out of the SeaWorld playbook and they're offering trick-or-treating for children 12 and under. They can wear costumes, again, 12 and under. They are given one treat bag per child and they go from store to store and they can trick or treat. Right now it says weekends. I don't yet know if that means Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or just Saturday and Sunday. So check into that if you're interested before you come. I'm sure that website will be updated very soon with the information. I know it did start today for sure. And that's it. Horror Nights 2020, Horror Nights Light, Horror Nights Diet Horror Nights, I guess. I don't know. Again, super weird to do in the daytime. Uh, I hope they do expend, extend the park hours a little bit as the season goes on once we get into October and it gets dark a little sooner. It will be nice, um, but still very cool. They're still trying to do a lot to make it worthwhile to come here. Just the main thing to be aware of is everything does take a good amount of time. So don't run in here thinking you're gonna be able to accomplish everything in two hours just because we don't have as much happening. They're trying to do what they can to allow for the distancing, switching out of the houses, uh, of the cast in the houses is now taking a lot longer and that's holding up the lines. When you go through the tribute store, they pace you pretty slowly. So just be aware of that. Otherwise, I'm glad that it's happening. I'm glad that we still get to have some Halloween this year when I didn't think we would get to. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you think of all this craziness. Leave us a comment if you could. Give us a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to hit subscribe. Class dismissed. Right. Take it easy, baby. Me last your night. She was an American girl. And I just saw the cutest guy in that line. He was really far away, but he's really tall and French looking. I'm going to ask him if he's single when I get out of the store. I'm sure I can find him.